All right, so there's a few things that we're installing today on the Jeep. First thing is we're gonna be installing a double din radio. Um, a lot of you were, were asking on my Instagram page what exactly was the uh, dash kit that I got. And I'm gonna put a link for in the description of where I bought it. It's from Jeep Cables. It's a Metra double din kit. So it looks like this, replaces the dash. I'm gonna show you guys it after it's done. Um, it's pretty basic. It's just a kit, comes with the brackets for a radio. It's pretty universal. I'm gonna be installing an ILX 207 radio um, with CarPlay, Alpine. Um, I'm also going to be installing, uh, I got new headliner, so I'm installing new headliner and sound deadener. So this is actually a product called Second Skin. And I've had pretty good luck. We use it at our shop and some of our builds that we do Hemis in. So I'm gonna use that and do that on the ceilings or on the interior of the roof before I put the headliner back in to help just, just I wanna make this like as, as comfortable as possible. Um, it's kind of a mess back here, so bear with me. So I got some JL Audio speakers, five and a quarter. I was gonna go bigger, but I really didn't wanna modify anything. And for me, I really don't care about like crazy high-end audio. Like I just want it to sound pretty decent. So um, the Jeep's kind of in pieces right now because I've had it all torn apart, but I'm gonna start putting it back together. I'm gonna play time-lapse of me doing everything. And in between, I'll explain what I'm doing and uh, give you guys pointers and whatnot and kind of where I'm at and what, what's going on. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the time-lapse uh, and uh, hope you all enjoy. Yep, I saw it. <laughs> All right, so overall, like it's already making the world a difference. Um, I'm really excited to see how this sounds when I get it on the floors and on the ceiling. Uh, so I'm gonna pull the carpets out, put seats in and do all this other stuff as well. But um, as you can see, it's a disaster back here. I've got to get this all back together, like by really by tomorrow. So hopefully this video will be me installing everything back together and getting it all buttoned up and I can show you guys what it's like. So I'm gonna get back to finishing up the ceiling in the back. I've got to clean it and then finish it. And uh, I'll play a time-lapse.
All right, guys. So, let's see here. I got in the double den right here. It is an ILX, I don't know if it'll show it. An ILX 207 Alpine with CarPlay. Everything works like it's supposed to. I got the Jeep all kind of cleaned up. Um, this did, this this Metro Dash is awesome. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, it's a little like time consuming. You gotta trim some stuff and get it to fit right. But overall it looks like really nice. Um, I got the mic up here and the dash is in, except I'm missing this light. I got to order one. If you know of one, let me know. I might buy it from you. Um, got in the speakers, cleaned up a little bit. I know this thing was like an absolute disaster. I'm sorry for the uh, <laughs> filming with it, but I'm just like, I, I've been like so busy with this. I'm trying to just get it all done as quick as possible. But now that I've got it mostly put back together, I'm taking my time going through detailing all the plastic pieces, getting everything how it's supposed to be. And, uh, you know, I want this Jeep to be as nice as possible. I am going to use it. It's not going to be like a, like show quality Jeep by any means, but I just want it to be, you know, nice and taken care of. So anyways, uh, everything went together really well. Next week I'm planning on, I'm actually going to be at Jeep beach. If y'all are going to be there, I'll see you there. I'll be in the Rubitrex tent. It'll be me and the owners. Um, we got some cool stuff that we're going to be doing there. And, uh, yeah, if you have any questions with this, let me know. The double din thing, I had a lot of people asking questions on my Instagram. So if you have questions on it, just shoot it down below in the comments. Uh, the next video I'm going to be doing is probably going to be me starting on body work for the Linex or Raptor liner paint job. So I'm mostly going to be doing the big stuff and then i may have a paintless dent guy come and get all the small dings out because i really would like to lose use as little body filler as possible um and i also have to wait till my notch flares get here so i'm trying to get some body work done before those get here so that way i'm not like overloaded with installing those and doing all the you know stuff at the same time because i can't raptor line it until i get my notch flares installed which as you know it's a pretty long process and i am going to be showing you guys how i do that and how to do that because it's it's uh, definitely not like just a quick install on notch on fender flares. Anyhow, I've gotten a crazy amount of positive feedback about this Cherokee build. I'm extremely excited, and thanks for you, all, thank you all for keeping me excited because this Jeep ha needs a lot of work. And ask my like my wife, I just keep asking her. I'm like, am I doing the right thing? Is is this going to be you know the right Jeep and you know, I'm already this far into it. It's going to be the right thing. And I've already spent a lot of money. So I'm all in. Um, I just got to keep with it and keep, you know, little bits at a time. And it's going to be good when it's finished. So it is running. I ended up replacing the exhaust on it, replaced some stuff in the engine bay, got it up and going really good. So I'm going to start driving it, see what else it needs. Uh, it needs brakes really bad, which I really don't want to spend money on because I'm putting JK axles in it and it just seems silly to waste money on these but whatever I'll figure that out I appreciate everyone's support stay tuned for the next video I'll try to post something if not this next weekend it'll be the following weekend other than that check me out on Instagram for more up-to-dates uh more up-to-date posts all right thanks y'all peace